Good day everyone, it's Rikis here from CYC Motor. Today we will be covering what exactly is included in the shipment package of the Photon and how to install it on a conventional bike. In the shipment box you will get one Photon, one spindle, two crank arms, two M15 crank arm bolts, one BB cup, one lock ring, bottom bracket spaces and spindle spaces. And lastly your peripherals and wiring, which includes a wiring harness, display and optional thumb throttle, integrated Bluetooth speed sensor with speed sensing magnet. Firstly, you want to take the photon and mount it as close as possible to the outer side of the bottom bracket shell on the drive side. This will depend on the type of bike and chaining size that you have ordered. The smallest width available for the photon motor is 83mm bottom bracket. In this example of common bike installation, we have a 73mm wide bottom bracket. In this case, we will have to make use of our bottom bracket spaces provided with the kit to bring the 73mm wide bottom bracket up to 83mm. Next, you will need to insert the BB cup through the A-frame support in the required spaces and thread the BB cup into the motor system itself. Please be reminded to add grease to the threads to help with threading on the high torque. Tighten by hand at first. Please take note that the A-frame support structure for the motor always needs to be included in between the BB cup and the non-drive side BB shell to add up to the correct spacing as well as provide support for the motor itself. Next you will see that we have the 73mm bottom bracket plus 3mm spacer plus a 7mm spacer and the A-frame support then the BB cup. If done correctly, you will see that the A-frame support sits flush with the slot cutout in the motor system. Next, you want to take up the remaining space of the slot cutout in the motor with the 8 and a 9mm spaces provided. The A-frame can be shifted in between these spacings to account for different BB widths. Add your provided M4 screws and tighten to torque spec provided. Next, you want to pivot the motor up to the down tube of the frame and tighten the BB cup to spec. There is a frame protection nylon plate included in the package if you feel the need of doing so. Now that the motor system is installed on the bike, we are going to add the spindle and crank arms as the final step. You can now take your spindle and insert it through the motor system from the drive side. We recommend to add grease at this point to help us waterproofing. Push the spindle through the motor system until the step sits flush with the motor system. Next we are going to add the preload lock ring to the spindle with the step of the lock ring facing inwards towards the BB cup. There is a small hole on the lock ring that you can use your H3X key to preload the system if needed. If it's too tight it will be difficult to rotate the spindle. In this case you want to loosen the lock ring a bit so that the spindle can turn easier. Now you can tighten the lock ring with the M4 screw located on it. Next we will use our spindle spaces for the crank arm to rest on. We will use the spaces to space from the preload color up to the indicating line on the spindle. Note that the spaces are up to the indicating line and that the indicating line is now barely visible. Next you need to add your crank arms to the corresponding side. The right crank arm being on the drive side and the left crank arm being on the non-drive side. Add your M15 bolts and tighten. The crank arms must be tightened fully to stop on the drive side step of the spindle or the non-drive side spaces of the spindle. Finally you will need to connect your peripherals. The smaller connector is the Bluetooth speed sensor. The slightly larger one of the harness is the peripherals. And finally you will need to connect your battery which is the XT90 connector. 